Hello friends, once again welcome to all of you to BSP Self Learning Video Broadcast Solution. In my previous video I explained you about the Azure Table Storage. In today's video we will be going to work on Azure Blob Storage. So first of all let's understand what is a Blob Storage and then we'll configure Blob Storage through programming using ASP.NET programming and we'll be going to upload some files on our storage on Azure. So let's talk about blob first. So what is a blob? Basically it blob can be store it is it can be used to store large or unstructured data. Unstructured data can will be in the form of audio or videos or pictures or images or some text file or some PDF files or some RAR files which can be uploaded and which can be shared by our users directly. So what is a blob storage? It is a persistent of cloud data storage that serves a variety of purpose and by using this blob storage it's a Azure hosted storage that allow you to upload large amount of unstructured data. So the key is in this blob storage we can store unstructured data typically binary data or bytes that, that may be shared publicly using HTTP or HTTPS protocol so which can be shared on HTTP or HTTPS protocol and that data will be an unstructured data. The common use of blob storage includes serving images or document directly to browser or storing files for distributed access or videos and audio or storing data for analysis by an on-premises or Azure hosted server. Let's suppose I have stored some I will store some data or some files online and I would like to share with my clients so I can take help of blob storage by using that I can upload the files or I can upload my data onto blob storage and like then I can share it by uh, with my clients so now there are various ways to create blob storage so we'll be going to talk about that the tools or the application which can be used to create a blob storage on our storage on Azure. So typically Azure blob services would make use of these components. So first of all we will be going to create a storage account. So within a storage account we have to create a container and within container we will be going to create blobs. So what is an account? So this will be your Azure storage account which we have already created in existing videos as well and today's video will be going to create storage account a new storage account and within a storage account we will be going to create containers so what are containers these belongs to accounts and are using to group blobs and each account can have unlimited number of containers and each container may contain an unlimited number of blobs so in so container is like boxes and or a container big containers and in those containers we can create files or a blobs and containers so we can have more than one container within a storage account and within each container we can have multiple blobs and what are blobs basically blobs represent the Azure hosted data that represent the originally uploaded binary data it is a blob that you would eventual up and loading when you share an Azure blob storage URL so we'll be going to share this Azure blob storage URL with our clients. We will not be going to share the container to our clients, we will be going to share the blobs URL to clients. So we have two types of blob storage, mainly we have two types of blob storage, block blob and page blob. Now what are the differences between them? Block blob, there are binary blobs, block of up to 200 GB and where we can upload 64 MB at a time if we tried if we want to store more than uh, 200 MB of file in a block block so first of all we have to divide it into chunks and then upload it by using multiple threads and it, once it is get uploaded Azure will reassemble them making the available as a single block and page blob it can be the size of page blob can be one terabyte and can consist of collection of 512 pages so that's about the block blobs and page block so in today's example in this video we'll be going to create a block blob so there are various tools to maintain the blob online so you can see here first of all let's see our Azure account so in this Azure account we have got three storage accounts 
BSP new storage account, BSP storage and FR new storage. So we'll be going to upload or we'll be going to create a blob within BISP storage. So as you can see here, if I'll open Azure Explorer, so this application or this tool can be used to maintain or to manage the blob or to maintain our storage account. So you can see here, we, I have got BISP storage and within this BISP storage, we can create a new blob container. As I told you that we need to create a container first and within container, we can create blobs. So first of all, we can create a container from here as well. A new container can be created, new blob container and we can set it access level. We want to set it our public or private and once a container will be created, within that container, we can create page blob or we can upload blob or page blob, block blob or a page blob. And once we upload it, we have to take care of its extension. So this thing we can create through the any tool application as well, uh, Azure Explorer application as well, any two third party tool, or we can do same by using programming as well. So I will be going to do same thing by programming. So let's do it by program through programming. So first of all, I'm going to create a new blank web application. And in that web application, first of all, I'm going to add one new web form. And the name is webform1.aspx. And I write a title that blog. After that, I'm going to add the reference, package reference. Yeah, so first of all, I need to add here storage account, Azure storage. So Azure storage, Azure storage here. So I'm going to install it. Azure storage and once it is get added, the reference will get added and then we'll add Windows Azure storage client. So let it install. So you see it has all it has successfully attached with current application and I add Azure storage client as well. I look for this as well Azure storage client and install it. So this also get connected or associated with this current web application. Now first of all I would like this web form to be my the default application or the home page. Okay so I'll click on web config and in this web config I write down here system dot web server then default document, then files, clear, add, value is equal to webform1.as. So I have done this, save it and close this configuration. Now I expand this webform ASPX and on this CS file or C sharp file, I'm going to write the code. So I'll write here, first of all, I add the libraries using Microsoft dot Windows Azure dot storage and I copy this paste storage dot authentication for you connected connect uh, to create a successful connection with storage account in Azure and dot blob because we will be going to work on blob on this page load. First of all, I write string account name, string account key. In this account name, I write account name here. So how to get this account name? To get this account name, we need to switch to our Azure and I would like to get the account name and the key for this BISP storage. So I manage, I click on manage access key and I'll get the account name. So I copy this account name, paste it here and that's the access key. So I copy and paste this key here and see. 
next I'll use a try and catch block for error handling catch exception ex that's the error handling and here I write storage credentials creds is equal to new storage credentials and here the credentials are account name comma account key then I write cloud cloud storage account account is equal to new cloud storage account bracket credentials comma use HTTPS colon true so this is to set this to true for the so that it can be accessed through HTTPS protocol only then I'm going to create a blob client so I write cloud blob client and I create a new client here is equal to account dot create blob client and it will create a new blob client and after this blob client we need to create a container so I write cloud blob container cloud blob container and I write sample container is equal to client dot get container reference and the name of the container the what what container we would like to create so I write here samples one so it will check so as you can see here the con this container is already created in BISP storage so I'm going to write a code here that if this container does not exist it will create a container and if the container exists it will not create a new one it will open the existing one and then it will upload a blob file into that container so I check here sample container dot create if not exist and I'm going to set up permission as well so I write sample container dot set permissions new blob container permission bracket and I write public access is equal to blob container public access type dot I'll set it to blob so after this the permission has been set as a blob permission I close this close this close this bracket and close this bracket and after that I'm going to create a new blob I want to create a new blob here so first let's test the error what's the error here so I'll write it and public access blob container dot okay we do not need it will be closed here okay and after that I write cloud blob cloud block blob this will create a new blob block blob basically is equal to sample container dot get block blob reference get block blob reference and what will be the name of the blob so I want to give my blob dot jpg so this indicates that what type of blob we will be going to create so that will be a jpg file that will be a jpg blob it means it will be going to contain a jpg file and then I write a uh, using stream yeah uh, so I, I want to read the file from my system so that, let me show you the file so I would like to upload this file this a1 file on this blob as a blob so because I want to read this file from a local system so I need to take the help of input stream so I write here using system dot io and I write here using stream file is equal to system dot io dot file dot open read and the path at the rate d drive and a1 dot jpg and a1.jpg and we have we need to upload it so I write a command here blob dot upload from stream upload from stream and 
file. So that's all. Let's publish it and uh, see whether it will get up uploaded or not. So it's showing an error here. So, uh, one bracket was missing. I'll save it and publish it. So I right click on this on web application and click on publish Azure websites. So it will display as the website available on Azure network. So we can use any website to publish our application on that website. So I select a website. Let's say BISP solution apparel name. OK and publish. It will start publishing. So you can see here it has successfully published. It has successfully published. I got a confirmation message that it, is, it has been built and it has published successfully. So let's go and explore our Azure storage, the storage B BISP storage because we have configured this for samples one. So in this samples one, there should be a, con so that's the container. So that container is already created. So that's why it, it has refreshed the container. And within this container, there should be one blog, blob and the name of that blob will, will be my blob dot jpg. That will be the name of the blob and that blob will reference to a1.jpg this that's the file name basically that's the file which is stored on our locals on my local system that that's the file so if you if you can see this if I click on samples one I'll found a blob has been created my blob has been created and if I'll open this that's the same file which was stored on my local system so now this blob this image has been uploaded on wind on Azure storage as a blob So that's all in this video. If you have any queries, you can visit our website www.bspsolutions.com or you can subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos on Windows Azure. Have a nice day ahead. Goodbye.